Dad, don't I got kids and grandkids? I said, look at man. You don't have to make no excuses. Everybody can't make everything. But ain't it nice to be able to get a text message from somebody to let you know what they're doing and maybe get your wheels a turning to be like, man, maybe I could do that one day or maybe I could do that on this trip. You know, uh, set, you, set you a little time to the side, you know, with your job and, hey, I'm gonna take that long weekend ride with you, Slappy. All I tell you to do is try it. Try it. it it's not for everybody, but I love it. Road trips is pretty much what I, uh, that's my anti-drug. I've never had a problem with drugs. Never was uh, on drugs. I smoked marijuana once and didn't inhale. I did a Bill Cosby, not a Bill Cosby, Bill Clinton. And uh, I smoked it, but I didn't inhale. But I just told a lie. I did inhale it. I got high and dizzy and all kinds of stuff. I don't like it. I don't like that feeling, man. You know, each his own. I do not like it. I don't like any kinds of smoke. I don't give it cotton picking. I, I hate cigarette smoke, but I definitely hate uh, any kind of smoke. I'm like, you know, you. If, if I was a smoker and I was to see a burning building, I would just run in that damn burning building and just take a big old huff. Or if somebody had a fireplace, I would stick my nose in that fireplace and just huff that damn smoke into my lungs if I like smoke so damn, you know, so much. Anyway, I got off topic. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, he was, you know, kind of like, man, I can't do this, I got a job, I can't do that, I got a kids and boom, 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 man, look. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. And I don't go around preaching doom and gloom, but I do go around preaching enjoy your life to the best of your ability. Make sure you got your bills paid. Make sure your kids are, are well took care of. You don't want to go hit the damn road for three or four or five days and all you got is $500 you can spare. You need to stay home. Stay home. Because anything can happen out there, you know. So, you know, enjoy your life, man. I, I mean, if it ain't motorcycle riding, and I'm not saying you can't enjoy your kids or you can't enjoy, you, you know, whatever your job provides, because that, you know, that kind of gives you security. But definitely, if you want to go on a road trip and you are on my text list, if it's something that I send you, that you might want to take a part of, then let me know. We'll put you in the group. Because, you know, you, everybody don't do this, man. There's virtually nobody in my neighborhood that does what I do, or that do what I do. I have you want to say that. My mom is a teacher for many years. I'm sure she probably cringes on some of the language and slang that I use. Sorry, mom, but Y'all know what my country asks me when I say that. But there's all kinds of different things that you can do to make this stuff work. You know, when we go, uh, if it's four or five of us, we'll split the room. We know we'll get two to a room. Now, if you got a hundred dollars, you know, a night, and you got two people or three to a room, you don't cut that hundred dollars a night down to fifty dollars or maybe $30, and that makes it real reasonable to do some of this stuff, you know, as far as money-wise, you know, unless you just like to eat a steak dinner every night, you know, we don't eat crazy like that, you know, I can't really eat heavy and then get on the bike and think I'm going to knock out a whole bunch of miles, I like to eat, you know, just to knock the hunger pain down and then uh, have me a meal maybe eat some pizza or some chicken wings or something, you know, uh, for dinner. But I don't go looking for no damn big ass steak dinner. Although, when I go to uh, Colorado, I'm definitely gonna be stopping 
over there at the uh, Big Texan and, and uh, try to eat that damn 72 ounce steak. I've done that twice. The first time I succeeded driving trucks, I stopped and ate that big old 72 ounce steak. Uh, it was on that movie uh, with Chubby Chase and uh, what's that fat boy name? I can't think of his name, but see what this van gonna do. You know, it kinda came out there kind of aggressively. But uh, uh National Lampoon's Vacation was the name of that movie. I know it wasn't Danny Ackworth. What was that boy's name? It was Chubby Chase and uh anyway, back to the story. But uh uh I did eat that bad boy one time and I tell you what the truth is, you know I got my name on a on a on a plaque I got my name, I caught the book, I got my name in the book of lambs. I got a t-shirt and I got a picture to hang on the board. Now, that that next night, I had the meat switch. Do y'all know what I mean when I say the meat switch? You eat so much steak or something and that thing, that damn piece of meat get off of your belly button. And it looked like it just dag gonna tear yourself apart. I'm like, goodness, the damn gracious. That damn thing tore me a, a, apart. And I had to sit on that damn toilet. And it took everything I can to get that damn hunk of meat up out of me. You hear me? <laughs> that sounded kind of nasty. But you know what I'm saying. But the second time I tried to eat that damn, uh, that uh, uh, 72 ounce steak and potato, I couldn't do it. So I ended up, you know, taking it home. And it's expensive. I think if you do eat it, it used to be, if, if you do finish the challenge, you gotta eat that 72 ounce steak and a baked potato. If you finish it, the meal is free. You get your name in the book of lambs. You get your picture up on the board of the people that's done it and you get a t-shirt or two. If you don't eat it, of course you gotta pay for it, and that's about a $150 bag of meal. So, I didn't finish it the second time, and I ended up, you know, uh, taking that thing with me. So I eat on that damn piece of steak and that big old damn Idaho potato about as big as your head. I eat on that damn thing for two days, I know. But, uh, I am gonna stop up there, but get back to living your life. Man, don't wait until you're doggone 65. If the good Lord, you know, you, you ain't promised tomorrow, but don't wait till you're 65 and you know, your body get all beat all up, you know, your knees hurt. Hell, I'm 50, my damn knees hurt. And uh, you got different things going on where you can't make those kind of trips no more. You done let the best you know, years of your life pass you up. And you got this big ass touring bike and you can't do nothing but run around town. So if you can, come on, you know, try to, try to make what you can make and try to enjoy what you can enjoy. Because I'm gonna tell you about me, when I put a trip together, you can best believe I done daggum dotted all the eyes. I done dotted all of the eyes, and I done crossed all my T's. So I like to put things together. That's part of my truck driver uh, makeup. I don't like to over playing stuff because it takes the fun out of it. You know, you want to ride until you get tired. I don't like to book rooms in advance. And that is a tour. So let's let me let me uh break it down from a tour from a biker vacation. As uh boots and jeans would say, a bikeation. So a tour is is when you pack up your bike, you have a destination in plan, but you arrive and then when it's time to shut down, you get tired, you go book a room. You may ride 600 miles that day, you may ride 250 miles that day, and you may ride a thousand miles that day. But if you book a room, it might be storming. It might be piss poor rain. So now you are obligated to get to that room 
because they done took money off your card, they done charged you, and now you gotta fight through whatever you need to fight through to get there. And on the other side of that is, you might book a room and it's daylight, you guys are feeling good, and you can ride another 100, 200 miles, another two or three hours. So now you don't book this room, same thing, they done took money off your card, they done charged you, and you could have you could have went on down the road a little bit further. So that's why I mean by over planning, and that is that is a tour. Now when I go on a biker vacation, and I and like an example, Key West, we're gonna ride to Daytona the first day. We're gonna stay with my buddy. Uh, house. Some people are going to stay in the hotel. The second day, we're going to make it down towards Miami and uh, what is that down there? Uh, on the south side of Miami. Homestead. We're going to get the homestead. We, we probably going to spend the night in that hotel. I may book that in advance. I'm not sure yet. I haven't done it yet. But we're going to Key West is the destination. So I definitely book my rooms in advance. I've had my room booked since October of last year because those rooms go fast and as you get closer to those dates, they go up. So we got a good rate, we locked them in, bam, I got that secured. So that, that's the difference in a vacation, bike vacation or a tour. Uh, the destination is going to be booked, but when it's all said and done, trying to get down there, we're going to, uh, you know, go to a hotel where we at. And sometimes we might get down there to uh, a place and everybody can't be in the same hotel. Well, definitely everybody that's with us should be grown. So if y'all got, if you got to get two or three to stay in the hotel a mile down the road, you ain't nothing but a phone call away, a text away. You know, we gonna come get you, or you meet us at the gas station, and uh, get you good night's sleep, and we'll catch you tomorrow. So, anyway, that's my little rant today, man. Enjoy your life, man. Get it in while you can. Enjoy it. I'm on my way to work. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these.